What's up everybody, B2, and today we're going to look at Conflict of Nations, World War III, specifically how to win the game. Hey everyone, B2, we're going to talk about the how to win, and we're going to look specifically at VPs. So we did join uh, a 4X game just to kind of get started, uh, so I am going to run through like my opening phase. I need to, I've never played Finland before. Uh, before we get started on explaining how to win, right? So our capital's Helsinki, so uh, we're going to get some stuff rolling on that one. We are going to uh, basically do all of our production in these bottom areas over here, right? So uh, let's go ahead and get some production in, and then we're going to get started. I want to show you coalitions. I want to show you VPs. I want to talk about boosting cities, like a lot of stuff that's going on. We're going to need to raise units in all cities, so uh, that's the first thing that I do is I come down and I get it started. We're going to be in a pretty unique unique starting position because uh, now that I know that we're allied all the way across here, um, we're probably going to take this section, I would imagine. I'll, I'll let whoever's running the coalition run it, but you can see how they're already making moves, right? So, uh, but we're going to run down and take Talon. Um, you know, uh, let's bring these units down to here. Now that's going to, I'll show you what happens when you set somebody, right? If I hover over, it's going to be 6, 10, and 20 seconds. So if I bring this guy and let's say I want to use him too, and now I hover on him, um, I'm going to set a delay on him, right? So I'm going to set the delay and I'm going to go to arrive at 610. So I'm going to slide it down here and uh, right there and set delay. Now both units arrive at the same time. We have one big stack there uh, and we don't take as much damage, right? So we're going to go ahead and get this plane in the air and patrol it. And then I want to see what the other city's got in there. So while that's off and running, I want to talk more about how to win. So these are diplomatic Estonia changed to war. Yeah, so that's all the stuff we want. Hey, what's this con news? People start talking trash already. All right, we're good. All right, so VP. So if you look deeper into this territory here, there's two really good ways to boost VP. That's taking land and taking cities. There's a third way, though, that a lot of people choose not to focus on, and that's going to be building cities, right? So right off when you take a city, it's going to be worth a certain population. So if I look at Helsinki here, um, it's going to tell me that I have a population of five and I have five victory points. Not a coincidence. The more people that live in the city, the higher victory points that the cities are going to be. Now, land, on the other hand, are not typically going to be worth uh, a lot more than one point. Now, I'm not sure on the construction side if you build something, if that land becomes more valuable. But the resources it takes to build these, I don't recommend unless you have an airfield. You need to get, you've conquered a lot of territory. You need to get units to replace up front and send the hurt ones back to heal. Then, yes, the airfield. If you're in a really tight area in Europe, then you can build these legit um, these uh, military logistics. It will move units up and down these roads quicker. Uh, the other ones I really don't yield um, use that much. A field hospital, I'll just send the unit all the way back to my city that does that. So um, now we got to set our. Um, we want to look at our commanders, and then of course we want to get our AA up in the air. The reason is that everyone has these jets to start off with, and they're super annoying. Um, they give visibility all over the map, so if you can shoot them down, uh, you want to, right? Very, very quick. So I'm going to go ahead and start, and we'll get those cooking, right? Now the first level infantry is going to uh, only take you know a very easy amount of time, so you want to research that first so that you can start immediately producing troops, right? So getting the troops is going to be able to split if you have more troops you only need like five or six stack to take cities in the beginning usually two or three units per city and then um, you want to be able to split one person off to go land grab to get your vps boosted up so so here you go like that's already done um, and now i can look and say what do i how much do i have so I've got enough to go ahead and put my next unit into production, and that's my tank, right? So, uh, but in this doctrine for Western, you don't get tanks until day three. So we're gonna save that because when we pop into here, we're gonna look and say day four, we're gonna pull this unit over here, um, which is um, um, upgrading your infantry to day seven. Uh, that's gonna be super, super important because that's gonna make your unit stronger, right? If you just have level one, they're gonna attack at three, defend at 3.8. But if I get them up to this third level, they're gonna attack at a four and defend at a five. That's super important. And as you level up the units for each tier, that happens, right? Um, it's gonna enable you to land grab quicker when you have stronger units, you finish battles quicker, it enables you to leapfrog out, right? So uh, so as I look down here, um, I 
I'm not sure how many units are in here. I'm going to assume that's two. Um, but we're going to send six, and then we're going to land grab at the same time, and then probably keep right on going to Riga uh, after that. So we'll leave two units behind and come down here with four to take this. So if we can convert that, then we have some, some land, and then look at Vilnius. So um, if I look at the land, though, it's worth one point all the way, and the city's worth five points. So part of the game strategy ends up being um, how do I keep my units healed and how do I boost population? And if I come in here, there's two different ways that you can really um, help yourself out, right? Um, that's the first one is by the military hospital. And if I look at it, it's going to tell you increase the healing rate of units and significantly boost population to growth city. So wait, BT, you're telling me that the military hospital is one of the more important things to build. And I'm going to answer that with a yes, um, because you want to have a place to send back units that are hurt to heal up. Um, it's it's way cheaper to heal a unit than it is to build the new unit and wait the time. So now when you build the hospital, it's going to take a little bit of time to raise this up. And it's a lot of resources to go to a five. But look at here, it's plus five hit points every two hours. So in two days, you can pretty much heal an infantry unit up. That's, that's just damage. Now, if it's down to like one hit point, it's going to take three days to get it all the way healed up. But again, it, um, it's zero resources to heal. It's just an automatic thing that happens. It's also going to boost the population of your city. You're going to end up in a situation where you are able to um to push more troops out because you can still build troops in the background right which is what we're going to do now that we've got everything cooking in here we've got um a base in here we can pretty much just go down the list and make some more units so uh so uh, what is this saying why isn't it letting it build it on there no worries so um so now that we've got it in there, we're going to actually build um, an arms. I think you have to build a recruiting office. Is that what it is? We'll see. But anyway, uh, we're going to come back through and build arms industries and the important ones. So you're not going to need um, components right off, but you are going to need supplies. And we have two cities with supplies. That's why this is really, really nice, right? So we're going to build an arms industry there. And that's what gives you your ability to create the units. And then we're going to kick off a unit right behind it. We're going to come down here. We're going to kick off an arms industry, and then we're going to kick off another unit right behind that, right? So now that we've got the supplies going, um, we can take a look and say, this is be the next important one to put an arms industry in. It's gonna get you going. Uh, it's gonna, you know, up this rate that's here. This plus 33 is very, very weak, um, and you're gonna need more stuff, right? So now I look at my supplies, I'm doing good on money. I'm doing good on manpower. Um, let's go ahead and put the arms industries in everywhere. Uh, worst case scenarios, we can sell it off, right? And then boom. So now uh, you're going to um, um, end up thinking through your strategy for where you're going to put your, your, your healing troops at. Um, and I would recommend doing that in your capital. Make the capital your strongest building, defend it, or your strongest city. Uh, defend that, put in the hospital. Um, the business is a port. You can put in a naval port too. Uh, you're going to want to run this arms industry all the way up uh, and then put some underground bunkers in it, right? So luckily it starts with underground bunkers here, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, if you look at the underground, it's going to also... Um, um, it will uh, be a secret building, which is nice, but it protects population. So even if someone hits you, you're still going to uh, maintain a level four once you have raised this up, right? And of course, as you get stronger, that goes on. So uh, so then how do I win on the coalition side? And if I look, um, you'll see your coalitions and you'll see the one that we're in here. We've got five already. We need 5920 of the VPs to win. That's what this means. Right now we have 354. Um, so we've got to um, take land, take cities, and then build cities in here. Uh, I think the economic side is the uh, the part that people fail to focus on, uh, which leaves them short in the end um, and scrambling to go through. So let's see who else we added. We added Germany too. That's nice. We have actually a really nice coalition. It's tight in here and we'll be able to close the ranks up. So uh, as they take these smaller countries and close the borders, I would say Sweden's going to be uh, a main focus for us. So I don't want to I want to get too crazy, but uh, I am going to move these guys uh, over to the borders here. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is I can already see us attacking. And if I start at the top, uh, then I can work my way while these guys come through the bottom. So yeah, Germany's going to come across to Copenhagen into Denmark. Um, I'd imagine that if we can take these, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, so anyway, that's a good start. Just don't forget that you're going to have to build those things really quick, get up into operation, um, and work with your coalition. So we've got some messages on here. Let's see what they're saying in the chat. Uh, Finland and Norway take over Sweden, right? <laughs> and so, so we are just going to, um, automatically just, 
move these guys and get them moving through. So I'm going to keep them separate for now. Uh, I'm going to um, probably this guy up here though. Let's um, let's set a waypoint to to come down to this city, and then the same thing. We're going to join up these two forces here, put them on the map over top of each other. So we'll we'll invade and then we'll come down. Uh, and start working on them. Now, Germany will come up on the top. Look at this. The con news is just going ham already with uh, with people coming in. So please apply, please apply for NATO. I want to praise <laughs> People with the, uh, the Security Council love to post on here. So anyway, I hope that clarifies the VPs, what it takes to win the three ways that you're going to go. Don't forget it's grab land, grab cities, and then build the cities. The first two are pretty easy, but a lot of people fall short on there. So make sure you're putting in your military hospitals. Make sure you're conserving your troops. If you get a troop that gets really low in the yellow, red, like on less than a third health, send it back to your place that has a hospital. It's going to defend that city, which is never a bad idea. Um, and then you're going to be able to... Um, um, you're going to be able to basically, uh, make a, uh, make a run at, at, at building those cities. So, you know, I bet I'm going to, um, let's do this. I'm going to, um, just go ahead and, uh, and take this one out too, right? So four hours, let's see what that does. Six hours. So that's going to arrive at what time? Let's, let's look at this. 534. This one's three. So we're going to set a delay on this to five. Let's get it in there. One little, I can't move it just a little bit. There we go. All right. So that way those two attack at the same time as well. Uh, we'll hammer out two cities real quick from them um, and then see. So these are going to come down this way as well. All right. Well, let's see how that works out. Hopefully Russia doesn't backdoor us uh, and that will give you guys an idea of what it takes to win.